Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is part three of my attendance series where I'm teaching you how to take attendance like a teacher. So like teaching and stuff. All right. So if you haven't watched parts one and two, go watch those first. We did those last week and then come on back here for part three. All right. So we got our attendance table built. We've got our attendance form where we can see everybody. We got a button here to add students for that date, which we have to close this and then reopen it again after we click the button. And then there they are right there, 6-2, that's today's date, right? And, and yes, I'm gonna show you how to make it so that we don't have to close and reopen the form ourselves, but that's gonna involve a little VBA programming, so we're gonna get there. First, I'm still trying to get through the expert level stuff, which doesn't require any programming. Then we're gonna add some, some extra enhancements that do use some VBA. All right, so today, we're gonna make a nice little report to show all this stuff. So we got, let's let's set this up right. So we got Friday, here's Saturday. Let's say these people were in class on Saturday. And then on Monday, we got these people were in class. Okay, now I want a nice report that shows each student and what days they had that they were present and then a count of absences and then, and it'll look nice. And let's build that today. But first, a couple of prerequisites. First, I want you to watch my form footer totals video. I know this video talks about form footer totals, but the same thing works in reports. Whether you're in a, a, a footer in a report or a footer in a form, it doesn't matter. It's the same kind of stuff. So go watch this and also go watch my video on grouping levels in real reports because we're going to group it by each student. Okay, these are both free videos. They're on my website, they're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and then come on back. All right, so first up, we're gonna need to add a couple of fields to our form here because we're not gonna do attendance of everything in the database, right? I wanna start date and end date. So I'm gonna copy this guy, copy, paste, control C, control V. We'll come down here. This will be our start date. And we're gonna copy and paste that guy. And this will be our end date. Now we got to give the boxes names. Don't forget, those are just the captions that I just edited. We got to change the boxes. So double click. This guy is going to be start date. And this guy is going to be end date. And if you want to put some default values in here, that's fine too. Let's say normally you're doing like the past week, right? So you could say in here for the default value, let's make this one today's date minus seven. And then we'll do the end date. Uh, let's do today plus one. Because I know sometimes if it's like it's, if it's a Friday, you want it to go to Saturday, right? You want to include everything up until that date. Or, or default it to today, and then you just got to make sure in your criteria that you add one to it so you get all those dates. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do date minus seven and then date. Okay. Save it. Close it. Open it. All right. Looks pretty good. Nothing crazy or new here. Now I'm going to make a query that's going to show me all the attendance records between these dates. All right, so create query design. What's going to be in here? I'm going to bring in my attendance data, and then I'm going to bring in my student queue because my student queue has my student information in it, right? Just the students in here. And we're going to join this together by customer ID. If it doesn't make the join for you, sometimes when you're working with a query, right, it doesn't automatically make that join. So we're just going to go click, drag, drop. And everybody that's in this table should also be in this table. So you shouldn't have to worry about your join type here. Okay. So I want to see the customer ID. I want to see the class date time. That's where we're going to put our criteria in just a minute. I want to see if they're present. And I also want to bring in their student name because I want to see that on the report, right? Now that criteria we're going to get from these fields back here that we just created. Okay. So the criteria for class date time, I'm going to come in here to criteria. I'm going to zoom in shift F2. It's going to be greater than or equal to forms, main menu F start date and less than not less than or equal to just less than forms, main menu F end date plus one There's that plus one. Right. So if I put in Monday through Friday, you want it to include all of Friday because they might have times in there. Right. If they got 9 p.m. I got mail. If you got 9 p.m. in there, right, you want to make sure because end date by itself would be just at midnight. So you want to add one to it and make it less than that. 
So you're actually saying give me everything from Monday at midnight all the way up through Saturday at midnight, but not including Saturday at midnight. That's why we do it this way. Less than this date plus one. You want to assume they're typing in Friday when they really want all of Friday. Okay. All right. Hit OK. I'm going to save this as my attendance queue. You. All right, there we go. There's all of our dates. And if you want to just test this, you could change this guy to 31. And make sure you leave the field. If you just change the date here and hit the button or run the query, it doesn't update that until you leave that field. It's another thing you can control with VBA is you can do a refresh of this data before opening up the report. Um, so now if I run it, you'll see just 31 in, in the second. That's perfect. Okay, I'm going to put this back to 26 or whatever it was before so we see everything. All right, there's good. We got three dates for everybody. Let's make the report. Now we're ready. All right, now in my Tech Help Free template, I have a blank report down here that I use for making new reports. It's just got my margins and my page width and all that stuff set up so I don't have to keep doing it in every report that I make. I strongly recommend you do something like that. I'm going to copy and paste this to my attendance R for report. All right, right click, design view, and here we are. It's already it's set out to the width, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Got my margins all set. I am going to open up the report properties and I'm going to bind this by changing the record source to that attendance queue that I got. That's where it's going to get its data from. Okay, now I can add fields to it. I'm going to go to report design and then add existing fields. And there they are. Let's, I usually keep this guy around for formatting, but we don't need it right now. I'm going to bring in you don't really need the customer ID for this unless you want to see it. If you want to, you know, if you got two Joe Smiths, you want to make a customer ID for that's fine. I'm going to skip it for now. I'm going to bring in these three guys, which is I click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one, let the shift key go, and then click and drag and drop. There we go. There's all three of those things. All right. Um, I'm going to make these guys go side by side like that just to see what we're dealing with here. Put that there. Put that there shrink up that detail section all right let's save it and let's do a print preview i'm going to right click here on the bar and go to print preview and see what we got okay all right first things first let's get rid of these boxes i hate the boxes back to design view let's close that field list we're done with you i'm going to click on that shift click on that go to shape outline set that to transparent okay that should look a lot better Take a quick peek. I got print preview up here on my quick launch toolbar. All right, that looks a lot better. Now, what I want to do next is I want to group this based on the student. So every student and all of their dates show up together. Okay, how do we do that? Close print preview. Well, you could group on student name, but again, you run into that problem where if you've got two Joe Smiths, then it's going to put them together. So I like to group on customer ID. So I'm going to come over here and go group and sort. And then I'm going to add a group based on customer ID. Okay. And I'm also going to turn a group footer on because it gives you a group header. But I want to click on more and then pick with a footer section. So we get a footer there too. Okay. Now I'm going to squeeze up that header from the report header, the page header, and the, the page footer, report footer. We might do with something with those later, but for now we don't need them. All right. So here's the customer ID header. I'm going to move the student name up here, right? So it's grouped by each student because a customer and students, the same thing. Remember from lesson one, and we could probably get rid of that label too. delete the label, slide that over there like that. Okay. Now the class date time is going to be here. I don't need the label next to it. Maybe put the label above it. So I'm going to slide this over here. Maybe make this a little bit bigger, right? This definitely has to be bigger to fit the class date time. There we go. Okay. And this, I'm going to just take that label off of there. We'll just cut it off of there. Click up here and paste it. And then I'm going to slide it over here like this. And this will be class date time or just date, whatever you got in there. Right. Copy, click, paste it again. Come here. Copy, paste. Sometimes you can copy, click, paste. Sometimes you can't. All right. And then present. And then we're going to do that. We're going to left align this because it's a date. So it's going to come in right aligned. I like it all left aligned. 
And we can turn off this grouping in total right here. Don't click this. This will actually remove that. It'll delete that group. You want to click on that guy to close the pane. Okay. All right. Save it. And let's, you can close it and reopen it if you want to. Right click, print preview. And look at that. There we go. Looking pretty good. I hate this alternating band stuff. I really don't like that. So let's do this. I'm going to go into the design view again. And for the customer ID header, double click on this guy. It'll bring up the properties. Go to format. Alternate back color. Set that to no color. Same thing with the footer. Now the footer, I want to actually change the footer. So let's set this to no color. And let's make this just slightly gray. Click on the dot, dot, dot. And go with like a light gray. So we're going to put our totals. And it'll break up the it'll break up each student a little bit. And maybe we'll make this bold. And just a smidge it bigger. Maybe go 14 point like that. Okay. Alright, we're starting to get there. Let's see here. Save it. See, this is one of my uh my exceptions to the save it, close it thing. Reports, I tend to just be lazy and go in here and go to print preview because it's a pain to switch between them the other way. Alright, and that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Richard Ross, James Kirk, William Riker, what, Reg Barkley, Mr. Spock, yeah, your class day time, and your present there. Looking pretty good. All right, maybe maybe shorten it up just a little bit. Maybe get rid of just a little bit of extra space in there. Let's see if this look, what this looks like. Save that, print preview. There we go. All right, now we got everybody on one page. That's perfect. And you can put a line in there. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. Now we're ready to put our totals in here. I want a count of how many items total, so there'd be three for each of them, how many were they present for, and how many absences do they have. And then we'll do the whole thing and total up the entire class. And we'll do all of that in tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. And we got a bunch of other stuff we're still going to do, folks. I got some, some good ideas from some students. We're going to throw it in and make even more videos. Some of it's going to be some VBA stuff, but uh, we got a lot more cool stuff coming. Members, I'm recording right now, so you can watch it. Probably tonight. All right. That's going to do it for part three. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that Show More link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. 
Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.